In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you around Playa del Carmen to show you some of the best restaurants here in the city. I recently was able to spend two weeks running around trying all of the best food and I've put together the top seven restaurants that shouldn't be missed when in the city. Now, Playa del Carmen is massive and chances are you're probably only coming here for a few days. And eating good is an absolute must, which is why I put together this guide. Enough with the intro, let's dive on into the incredible food. Welcome to beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico, one of the most visited cities here on the Riviera Maya. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you all around this city and showing you guys some of the best restaurants that you can find here in Playa del Carmen. Now, most people visit Playa del Carmen and they typically stay around the main center area known as Avenida Quinta or Fifth Avenue. But today, we're gonna kind of veer off away from that strip to show you a more local side of Playa del Carmen. Now, we're actually kicking off here at this beautiful recommended restaurant called Los Chilacos. Now, here they specialize in chilaquiles Let's jump on in there and see what the menu is looking like. Los Chilacos is a family owned restaurant here in Playa del Carmen. They actually have several locations and they specialize in making a Mexican traditional dish called chilaquiles, which are awesome for breakfast. Chilaquiles is a dish consisting of corn tortillas cut into quarters and lightly fried. Here inside of Los Chilacos, you can find literally every salsa that your heart desires and every topping you could possibly put on top of chilaquiles to include cochinita pibil and carne arachera. I feel like a kid that just woke up on Christmas morning, man. I'm sitting with these chilaquiles right in front of me. They smell absolutely incredible. Now they are loaded. They have crema, queso, red onion, cilantro, and carne arachera, which is a steak meat. Now, chilaquiles are actually a dish that I grew up eating. My mom makes them pretty much every Sunday morning back at home. I love them, but we do make them very different back at home. So, I'm excited to try these ones. Wow, I love how they're loaded with cheese, cream, red onion. This beef looks absolutely incredible. My mouth is watering right now, guys. Look at this bite I'm about to take. This is about to be killer. Woo! So sorry, so sorry you guys have to watch this right now. I hope you have a snack next to you because you're about to get super hungry in this video. I went with the green sauce. It's actually not too spicy at all, but it does have a nice little tang to it. Now the tortilla chips are nice and crunchy, which I really, really like, but they do get softer as they sit in the sauce and the cream longer, which in my opinion, I like the softer chip better than the hard chip. And the meat, the marinade in the meat is so unique. The meat's so soft and tender, it just falls apart right in your mouth. Let me see if I can get in there to just show you how easily this meat falls apart. Look at this, guys. Seriously, this piece of steak you could probably cut with a spoon. Los Chilacos know what they're doing so the next recommendation on today's guide is this restaurant right behind me called porfirios now here they actually put a little bit of a fancier twist on most of your pretty iconic typical mexican foods now we actually had the tortas from here that were incredible the bartender also came up to our table and made us a custom drink made out of horchata which was absolutely insane and they even brought out this beautiful display of tacos de canasta, which are absolutely incredible and a wide variety of salsas. So this is pretty crazy. The presentation's insane. This here is like a torta stand with a nice torta on top. You got a bicycle with a little basket up front, tacos de canasta, a nice steak and esquites with a nice small bottle of tagine. I definitely recommend stopping by here when in Playa del Carmen. Now on to the next recommendation. So the next recommendation on today's restaurant list is to pay a visit to this restaurant called Las de Asada. Now, right behind me, we got Senor Marco Antonio and he's whooping up this incredible pizza that I've actually never heard of before anywhere else in the world. He's making us a pizza de al pastor. Yeah, you heard that right, an al pastor pizza. How crazy is that? So along with the Al Pastor pizza, they also have incredible seafood tacos. Now the other day when I came here, I had these style tacos called Tacos Al Gobernador or Governor Tacos and they were extremely spicy but so delicious. However, right now I'm going with the Shrimp Ceviche Tostada. This looks absolutely incredible, so fresh. They just got done preparing it right near where they were preparing the pizza and man, does it smell incredible. The Alpha Store pizza is officially in my hand and there's really only one way to eat this one to feel comfortable at least. You gotta fold it up and eat it like a taco.
I don't know who came up with this idea, but it is absolutely incredible. Pizza, tacos, combine them together, key to my heart. So the next recommendation on today's food guide is actually gonna be this restaurant right behind me that is packed and we're waiting in line for it right now. It's a place called La Barracuda and rumor has it they have some of the best mariscos here in Playa del Carmen. Now, based on what I'm looking at, it looks like the recommendation was definitely the right place to come. There's a lot of other seafood places here on this strip, but none of them are anywhere near as full as this one behind me. So we just sat down at our table and we actually ordered a traditional shrimp ceviche. Now this is one of their most popular dishes that they have here. Now they also do have ceviches, they have tacos, and all of the tacos and ceviches either come made with shrimp, octopus, snails, or a mix. I'm just going shrimp. So our dishes just came out. This here is the shrimp ceviche. Absolutely massive and this is only the medium size. So grateful that we chose this one. Now Gladys actually went with the shrimp al diablo which is like a really spicy shrimp taco topped with avocado really really nice. I also ended up ordering a breaded shrimp taco which also came layered with an avocado and some pico de gallo. Now the ceviche by far was one of my favorites that I've had so far here in Mexico and I definitely recommend paying a visit to La Barracuda when in Playa del Carmen. On to the next recommendation. So the next recommendation on today's guide is to make sure and visit La Floresta, which is a place known for having some of the best mariscos here in Playa del Carmen. Now, I actually just got done killing a shrimp taco and we did order a cocktail mix though, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of mussels, I'm not really a fan of uh, calamari, and in here there is a lot of that but the shrimp, definitely something that you should try. Now this place is more for the locals, I would have. It's a lot more low key than the very Buddha spot we went to a few days ago. And I definitely think that this place is worth visiting. However, do keep in mind that the staff here aren't the friendliest people, but the food is super, super good. So if you come in here, expect to not be treated as nicely, but the food is gonna be incredible. So the next recommendation on today's list is to pay a visit to Senor Frogs. Now this place is a restaurant, but also a crazy pub. We just walked out of there, had one of the most amazing nights that I've had in such a long time. Great food, great drinks, and amazing atmosphere. Let me show you guys a little bit. Super crazy, definitely worth visiting. Make sure to pay a visit to Senor Frogs when in Playa del Carmen. On to the next spot. The next recommendation on today's list is a restaurant called El Punto, which is located right on the Fifth Avenue, which is the main walking street of Playa del Carmen. Now we tried a couple of their most iconic dishes from their menu, but by far my favorite was the arepa of Al Pastor. Wow, it feels cute. <laughs> Mira. <laughs> huele rico. Uh -huh, huele rico. And it's crispy, it's nice. Is it good or super good? Super good. Mejor que un taco de cochinita. De veras. Mejor que un taco de cochinita. Este arepa me encanta. Si voy a echar un salsa porque como dijo Gladys, un taco sin salsa no es taco. Por favor, no se molesten los mexicanos que están en este canal. Mejor que un taco. Mejor que un taco. <laughs> I definitely recommend stopping by El Punto when in Playa del Carmen to get your hands on some dishes that you probably never tasted before and also some pretty unique combinations. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of our Playa del Carmen restaurant guide. I hope you enjoyed that. Honestly, my top two off the list are probably gonna be Porfirio's, which I absolutely enjoyed. I really love the displays that they brought out with the tortas and the tacos de canasta. Definitely an experience on its own. And I must say, I also really, really enjoyed that Alpa Store Pizza. Definitely two places that you should visit if you don't have enough time to reach all seven. Anyways, right now I'm here in Cancun, Mexico, currently putting together another awesome restaurant guide for you. 
So if you'd like to see more, remember to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days from another incredible video from here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Later, guys. You were always smarter. I was the one.